What is up, J Squad? And I've thought about doing this for a while, and that is showing you guys my NBA dream starting lineup. Basically, my ideal starting lineup and what I think would be the most unbeatable team possible and their coach. I'll, I'll sum up the team right now. And the team is Magic Johnson, Stephen Curry, Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, Bill Russell, and the coach is Don Nelson. And right now is my explanation for this team. Now, the reason that I think personally that this team is the best possible team that you can make out of a starting lineup, which is five players, and a coach, is because this team has, as you can see, the perfect mix of defense and offense. With a top three defender all time in Bill Russell, the best scorer ever in Michael Jordan, one of the best scorers ever in Steph Curry, same thing with Larry Bird, the best passer ever in Magic Johnson, and one of the best offensive coaches in NBA history in Don Nelson. Now the reason that I went for the reason I went for an offensive coach instead of a defensive one was because with Michael Jordan and Bill Russell, you don't really need a defensive coach to kind of tell them what to do. Same thing on offense, but for offense, basically what I'm trying to say is you can throw any situation at them and they'll be able to adapt, especially with Don Nelson as their coach. Because when you think about it, Don Nelson is the reason that people shoot so many threes nowadays. Back when he was playing, he even used to try to shoot from deep. He is the reason that Run DMC was a team. And another, re and another reason why I have him as my coach is because, just straight up, the... How do I explain this? The type of ideas that he would come up, on, come up with on offense was just completely ridiculous. Now, as I said about the throw any situation at them and they'll be able to, you know, adapt to it. Now I'll explain all the possible situations that I'm thinking of. So first off, if you throw a pick and roll situation at them, we have one of the best pick and roll players ever in Magic Johnson, who can run a pick and roll with either Bill Russell, he can run a pick and pop with Larry Bird, or he can dish off to MJ and make his own play, same thing with Steph, and same thing with Larry. Another reason I think that this will work out amazingly is because one of the main reasons that I added Steph and Larry, other than them just playing, being great players, is because when any player, anyone, drives and leaves Steph, Larry Bird, MJ, or Magic open at the three-point line, it's basically a guaranteed basket. Because cause think about this. If you run a pick and roll with Magic and Bill, you either have to guard Magic driving, which is a very serious threat, or Bill Russell driving. Because one's going to be driving and one's going to be rolling. So they're both going to be going towards the net at, at a great speed. Great speed. And Bill Russell was a very fast and strong player. So if he dishes it off to Bill Russell, he'll be able to pound the ball, maybe take a, you know, take a pound dribble into the defender, create space with that, and be able to finish. Or with Magic, he can stop and pop them mid-range, and it will probably go in. He was a, he was a pretty good mid-range shooter back then. And another reason for this is because, another reason for this team overall. If Larry Bird's in the post, he was a great post playmaker. Same thing with Bill Russell. So if any of, them, any of those two are in the po post, and they get like double teamed or trapped, or they can't get a shot up, which will rarely happen, they'll be able to kick out to one, one or another player. Anybody in the lineup can shoot except for Bill Russell. Is basically what I'm trying to say. Now I'll go over one one more offensive thing, and that's that's the most important one, and the one that I think they'll do best at, which is in the fast break. Now, I th but Will Will Chamberlain would have been perfect for this, well this challenge basically for this lineup. But the thing is, the difference between him and Bill Russell is that Bill is a better defender, not by far, but a better defender. A little bit actually kind of tied for rebounding but on the fast break even though Wilt was faster and Wilt was he was he was stronger but not by far Bill Russell is still 
basically equal to him in strength and speed. And yes, I just said that. Well, not really strength. But guys, on the speed side of things, on a fast break, this team is insane. For Magic Johnson running the break, or MJ, MJ will drive, take like a spin, and get a finish at the rim. Or he'll use his amazing acrobatic finishing skills. What a, what a play I think that this team would run is MJ and Bill Russell cut to the rim, and Steph and Larry stay at the three-point line. There's no lineup who can that can possibly guard that. There's no lineup. There's not a single... You guys can't throw a lineup at this team that can guard a fast break. Uh, like, a fast break from this lineup. There, you can't. You cannot. And another reason, another huge reason is, I've been talking about this team's offense this whole time. And I've already been speaking for six, six minutes. This team has six minutes worth of talking on offense, which is insane. So now, now let's talk about the defense. Let's talk about the defense. Now, the only big weak spot here is Steph Curry. But people think Steph Curry is the worst defender ever. I swear, I swear that's what people think. But for Steph, he can go in the passing lane and get a steal. He's, um, he's amazing at that. He's, a, he's, a pick, he's also a pickpocket type of player. It's just he doesn't have the strength to stick in front of his man on the perimeter. That, that's basically the only problem with him. And obviously shot, blocking shots, but he's, he's not in the key at all. So, if you put MJ on the other team's best player on the perimeter and Bill on the other team's best player in the paint, I mean, are they really going to score? And Magic Johnson was a top-tier perimeter defender back when he played. He once had a season averaging, I'm pretty sure, 3.7 steals. So, he was, he was pretty good at those as well. And, and I, I have something else to say. Even if Bill Russell somehow, it's probably not going to happen, but even if Bill somehow struggles to get stops and gets tired, which he, he rarely did back then, Larry Bird is able to help on post defense. And if Larry and Bill are doubling, that's basically basically either a jump ball, either a trap and some stepping out of bounds, or throwing a bad pass. So the post players are definitely stopped. I'll say that. On the perimeter now, as I said, Magic and MJ, great defenders, and Steph will get you steals when he has to. So this is, in my opinion, the perfect team. Now, there are some guys who I definitely could have put on this team, and I want to give a shout-out to, which is LeBron. LeBron would have been great for a Magic Johnson role. Will Chamberlain would have been great for a Bill Russell role. And is there even anyone else that I need to think about? Uh, like a Reggie Miller, Ray Allen, or Clay Thompson. But Steph is the best of the best at shooting, so I, I could not leave him off this list for the shooting role, you know? So, yeah. Honestly, I think this is the perfect team. I'm going to say it one more time. I think that this is the greatest possible team that you can pick. Greatest, the best, best on offense, definitely. And you can pick better teams on defense, definitely, but... You did, if you pick the best teams on defense, where's the offense, you know? So, yeah. I feel like this is, like, a second-tier defense team. Or, no. What am I saying? This is still a first-tier defense team. It's just you can build better defensive teams. However, on offense, I don't think there's a possible better team, except for adding Wilt to this lineup. That That's the only difference, honestly. And you're probably thinking, what about LeBron? He's definitely a better scorer than Magic. But remember... Without LeBron, without Magic, the willing the willingest passer in NBA history. Not saying LeBron doesn't want to pass, because we all know that he does. But without him, you lose a lot of playmaking. You lose the best playmaker of all time. You lose the amazing rebounding that he brings. You lose, what else? The steals. Yes, LeBron can do that stuff. I'm not saying he can't. But the thing is, they don't need scoring. And that's another big reason that I don't have Wilt here. Other, they have Steph, MJ. I, I I need to say this. They have Steph, MJ, and Larry Bird. Steph, MJ, and Larry Bird, and they, they, you can't guard anyone. They're unguardable. All three of them. They're unguardable. I don't care what you tell me. They're unguardable. So with Magic, who doesn't need to get a shot up every second. Not saying LeBron does. Once again. But with Magic, who doesn't need to get a shot up every single second, 
He'll be able to, as I said, he's the willingest pastor ever. He'll pass to anybody. He'll literally pass to, we know he used to get assists to anybody on, that he would play with. Why am I even explaining this to you guys? Come on. If you say LeBron should go over Magic for this team specifically, then I don't agree with you. I just don't. Magic is the perfect perfect fit for this team. Same thing with Bill Russell. That's why I got two guys who don't need don't need to get a bucket. You know, they they do a, a lot of other things perfectly, like Bill Russell on defense and rebounding, and running the fast break as I said. And then for Magic, same thing: defense, rebounding, playmaking, getting steals, getting triple doubles, getting blocks, getting assists. So like stuff like that. It's just. It's just the fit of the team, you know? So I thought I got it. I think I think right now I have a team that will perfectly fit with each other. And, yeah, man. That was my ultimate NBA dream starting five and coach. And, I, yeah, I already, explained, I already explained why Don Nelson is the coach of this team. So I don't need to go over that again. And that was it, your boy Jay. And peace. See you guys tomorrow.